We're here at Air Venture opening day. I'm Dan Johnson talking with Eric Giles, and you got something that I've never seen before, Eric. Uh, we've looked at your other airplanes in the past. Right. This doesn't bear any resemblance to them, except I'm guessing maybe wings and tail might be related. This, the wings on this airplane are the same wings that go on the Vision. Okay. The tail is the same tail. All the rest You is, just took all the other parts away. All the other parts were taken <laughs> away, and then we added some steel to make a frame, and we demanded an open cockpit where you can hang it all out, and that's what we've got. Well, it appeals to me, an old ultralight pilot like me, and a guy who likes the air cam. This has sort of an air cam-like feel to it, but sure it does. just with one big, one engine doing the pushing. You don't need a multi-engine license to fly this one. And that too, so uh, what what drove you to this concept, Eric? You had all enclosed airplanes in the past. Uh, why go this direction? Well, actually, you know our engineer is Max Tedesco. Did he do this one for you as well then? Oh yeah, well okay. see this airplane originated about 15 years ago. Is that right? Okay. And uh, he's changed it, but it started out, it had two seats in the back, and he sold a bunch of them to Cuba, ah. and it had floats on it. And they, the Cubans would fly down the beach and land in front of a hotel, and people would wait out, and they'd, the husband and wife would climb in the back, and then get a 15-minute ride around okay. Cuba. Tourist ride. And he okay. has actually sold uh, somewhere around 10 of these to Cuba. Okay. And then that all dried up. Uh, the government got involved, and pretty soon there was no money, in it, and that was the end of that. Um, so this airplane. So it languished for a while. Then, languished for a while. He sold one or two here and there. Okay. So we talked about reviving it. Well, the next thing we did was we said, okay, let's make it better. So. We dropped the engine down, it used to be up high above ah, okay. the wing, now okay. it's down low. Changed a whole bunch of things on it, and it became a hundred mile an hour airplane. And uh, the rest is history, here we are. I'm kind of guessing uh, from my air cam experience that with the windscreen arrangement and the nose pod the way I see it in front of me, that in this seat I'm going to be pretty much not getting blasted by wind. That's right, the, the windshield is high enough that the wind's going to go over your head. You're still going to get air coming from the side, and actually this is our second prototype, and our third one will have an 8-inch higher instrument panel. Okay. And we're going to build deflectors into the fiberglass so that it deflects the side wind as well. Okay. So it create a little bubble back here. That this Basically pilot, this a dead air bubble that you won't get blasted when you're flying. Yeah, right. So you said it'll fly 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. What can it go in the slow range? About 30. Full flap. And okay, so where are flaps on the airplane? I haven't uh, even looked around. Flaps here, are right? electric. Okay. okay. So they're right here, down. Okay. And up. Okay. Now this is a uh, position based, so if you push it once, you're going to get 15 degrees. I see. Okay. Push it a second time, you're going to get 25. You have to watch them. Just push once. And push go. it one more time, you get 40. And if you push the left button, it'll go all the way up to zero. And if you notice on the front of the airplane, there's a red box. That's vertical power. Right. We like and all that power is adjustable. So, so. You can you can program those flaps ah, okay. wherever you want. Okay. So you yeah. could if you didn't like that particular arrangement, you can change. Yeah. It. If you were the kind of guy that wanted 10 degrees on takeoff. And well, some different places they might yeah, want a different situation. Uh, different high altitudes, whatever. Different size You people, can program whatever. the airplane for it. That's one of the beauties. This is your trim here, elevator trim. Okay. okay. Push the and I'm going to move my leg trigger. down here so you can see, the camera can see past over here. Here's yeah. my throttle, right? There's the throttle. Okay, and my uh, choke I see. Turn and, the choke. And, and yeah. a key switch and starter all over here on a over here on the pedestal. Please pedestal. Right. Okay. And otherwise, let's see, I didn't even look in the back, but you got dual, full dual control so you can... Uh, we have places. dual controls. Okay. Uh, this one doesn't have dual stick, but it's got a rudder pedals and a, sti and a plane stick. Okay. And no throttle. So you but could do some. It's available it as a dual control airplane. Okay. Yeah. And I see you're using uh, Dynon. You got the brand new Skyview Touch up here in the panel. Right. It's not lit up right now in the bright sun, but. Uh, uh, Let's see now, I'd need to, in order to operate that, I'd have to loosen my belts a little bit. Yeah, so. that's why this is actually going to come forward more. Ah, okay. And of course, your seat's all the way back, too. Yes, right, I didn't move yeah. the seat up where I probably um, wouldn't want it. But this is actually coming up a little more like this. I'm gonna put a little more angle this And it's coming up about eight way. inches. Okay. okay. And as I said, it's getting a little wider with deflectors on it. Okay. okay. It's the nice thing about it is we're the manufacturer, so we get to do whatever we want to do. You can choose any way you want. That's yeah. one of the beauties of the light sport aircraft right. community is that you guys get to choose what you want to do and then execute. So you're you're in a prototyping stage with it now, although it's been flying in the past. When do you think you'll be ready with it and how is it going to come onto the market? That is, if I want to buy it, can I buy a kit? Yes, you'll be able to 
buy a kit in the spring, you'll be able to buy a uh, fully built airplane okay, by so the few, end of the year. A few months, okay, fully built first. You're going to yes. be fully built first under the SLSA rules, the Special right. Light Sport Aircraft rules, and then you'll begin to offer an ELSA kit. Will you do it That's that That's correct. Way? And I'm not sure about a, any uh, um, an amateur built. Okay. Uh, only because this is a full metal frame that we weld. The structure we may not make the 51. Yeah, you got You got to qualify. It's, it's a on little. That, right? Yeah, it's a little iffy, and that's something we'll know about as we. Well, get you don't there. really need to go there though if you've got ELSA, which is Experimental Light Sport Aircraft, meaning it could be a kit, but that could be any percentage you choose. Right. So, it but could in be, an amateur build. The only advantage of the amateur build is that we can go to the full gross weight of this airplane, ah. which is designed to six, 750 kilos, whereas Light Sport is only Okay, so that's 600. A continuing the theme of Max's earlier designs. They all have that quality. All of our airplanes are designed to 1,653 pounds. Okay. So we have to deregulate them for FAA Light Sport. Right. But if you wanted to go to an EAB kit, then you could build it to the full 1650. I see. Okay, so let's talk about this special light sport aircraft that will come out first. What kind of price point do you are you targeting? At this, this one time? is 799. 79. Okay, so for those, we have a lot of people that tell us, well, there's just too many expensive airplanes out there, and there are some beautiful machines that are loaded with gear that do get up in price pretty good, but they don't have to be that expensive. And at eighty thousand uh, dollars, you've got a very economical buy here. Yeah, and that's an airplane that's fully equipped with the glass panel, GPS, radio, ELT, 406 ELT. Uh, it has vertical power system, because that's all we use now. We don't use breakers, push-button breakers. We use the vertical power. All that old-fashioned stuff gone away. Or in well, the everything modern, is modular. In the modern year. Everything is modular with us. Everything is serviceability. So if you can, if there's something breaks, you can undo something here and here, pull that piece out, put a new piece in. Yeah, right. That makes a lot of sense. So I think makes, those folks are going to have a good run with it. And from the manufacturing standpoint, we can build an airplane uh, at a lower price because we can build all those components on the workbench. I see. Okay. And then put them into the airplane. Sure. And we can build 10 or 20 at a time. Right, which makes it a more efficient production for you, which is done in Paris, Tennessee, correct? Paris, Tennessee, Henry yeah. County Airport, Kilo Papa Hotel Tango. Now, how long have you been there, Eric? You've uh, established uh, about a five years beach now. there. Five yeah. years you've been there now. We came and visited once. Beautiful facility. Great support out of the airport and the town for what you're doing there. We'd you love bet. to see that. Yeah. Well, yeah. great. Uh, we got a lot of information from you. Where else can we go? Uh, give us a web address. We'll put it up on the screen for folks. It's uh, www.worldaircraftco.com. Worldaircraftco.com. For like company. Okay, so worldaircraftco.com. Right. Right. And uh, lots more information on Eric's airplanes from uh, uh, World Aircraft on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Eric and I here at AirVenture.